What you listening to? Sorry, I can't hear you. I don't speak broke. Fast, we learned to factor, now we know what to teach you guys So GCF means greatest common factor We're gonna take this slow and steady like a tractor And those numbers from the factors, those numbers contain Then find the greatest numbers, now let me explain Take a number like this, don't try out of this Using GCF is sufficient 4 is the GCF of the coefficient Now let's find the GCF for today's exponent I don't really know how I kept my enrollment The answer for that is A squared This is too easy now, don't be scared For our second variable, the GCF is B cubed This is better than a quiz The full answer is 4A squared B cubed Yo, my trumpet needs to move Divide this from the problem, easy fix this is the chorus! Factory! Hang on the chorus! Grouping. Hopefully you're not deaf. The first thing you do is group with GCF. Let's begin with the first problem we can tell. After dividing, we can guarantee the GCF of the groups are 2x and 3. We have a common factor, x plus 4. Use distributed property factor numbers from before. Now we have the answer, yay us. Sing the chorus again, or we'll leave you in the dust. Factoring. This is the chorus. Factoring. Now don't you leave, we're almost on. We need to teach you difference of squares, it's fun. Here's the problem, I just go to spare. Better make sure you have subtraction. Also have perfect roots but no fractions. Everyone use this rule to factor. The first step is to find the square roots of each term. Please, Miss Patel, don't put this in my midterm. The first parentheses is 7x plus 4, while your mom is definitely maybe not a guy. If the first parentheses is addition, then you'll benefit. The second set of numbers is multiplied by the opposite. Factoring. This is the chorus. Factoring. Turn around. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh. My car coming! <laughs> 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 